having our trained up teacher, you know, she has worked with colleagues to help them to understand the theory, understanding how the mind works. You get some very prescriptive schemes where you have to follow A all the way through to Z. The nice thing with mind apps is you might have a two or three minute session a very short session getting them to think about their minds at that time. Or you might have a more in-depth assembly session or a more in-depth PSAG session. You can pick your mind apples up at any moment. So after the mind apples training, um, I came back to school and just talked to all of the teachers and the staff. We planned throughout the year a couple of different Feel Good Fridays and each of those days we had some specific mind apples um, training for the children. The children's responses to those sessions were always very positive. I think they had a fantastic time and just the opportunity to think about those things that they enjoy doing that makes them feel happy, but then come back together afterwards and share what it is that they did. What is really lovely about Mind Apples are the different uh, diagrams, the different visuals that they, they have um, offered us. It's something that's very active, it's something which you can take pause. So we've got these beautiful little apple cards, mind apple cards, for the children to write their five mind apples on and to present those on a mind apple tree. And it's a lovely thing for the children to just walk past, have a look at someone else's mind apples, give them some ideas, because it's a nice visual way to, for the children to think about their minds. Teaching can be quite a, a busy uh, profession that can become quite overwhelming at times. Um, so it's just important that we remind each other that we need to make sure that we're having time for ourselves and um, because with happy teachers, happy staff, there's happy children so everyone's much more able to learn.